pleased to be joined by two-thirds of the West Coast Express, Brendan Morrison and the man himself, Marcus Naslin. Before we get to you, Brendan, Marcus, uh, we wondered yesterday uh, how you'd feel when you saw your sweater being raised to the Raptors. So tell us now what you were thinking and how it felt. Uh, it, it's been an overall amazing night. Uh, from the walking out and hearing the fans cheer to everything that's been presented, all the kinds of words being said, and then having good friends join me, uh, and then seeing the jersey go up. Uh, it's just been a memorable night. Yeah, Brandon, I know you wouldn't have missed this night for all the money in the world. You had it on your calendar for a couple of months, and you took a detour with the Flames coming back from Anaheim. Uh, to be here tonight, what did it mean to you to be here? A special night. I mean, uh, very well-deserved honor by Marcus. This guy's a uh, first-class player, but even better person off the ice and um, an amazing night. Uh, we said to Marcus uh, in the uh, feature on Inside Hockey that Mark Crawford has suggested you're the guy who deserved the medal on the West Coast Express because you were harangued by both he and Todd Bertuzzi for the puck. You used to get the death stare from Bertuzzi. Did you get it from Naslin? Well, he was good for a while and he got on board with Todd there. I don't know what happened, but uh, no, I mean, these guys, uh, for me, it was the uh, most opportune time in my career and without these guys, I wouldn't have had as, as much fun playing the game, so it was a, it was a treat. Marcus, I know we're on dangerous territory when we start singling out people, but I want to ask you about two who are here tonight, Pat Quinn, who traded for you, and Brian Burke, who wouldn't trade you from the Canucks. Uh, what was special about them being here? Well, for them both to be here, it's uh, really unique because they had a big impact on my career. And, uh, I mean, Pat brought me here, and, and like I said, Brian uh, Brian believed in me and, and uh has always shown a lot of faith uh, in in me as a player and as a person, so I have a lot of respect for both of them. Well, your obligations to Hockey Night in Canada are done now. You can enjoy the rest of the night. Thanks for uh, for joining us now, Mark. Thank appreciate you. it. And Thank same you. to you, Brent. Thanks, Scott. He had some big shoes to fill as captain. Two of them belonged to Trevor Linden. He had to see, Naslin did, when you were reacquired by the Canucks. So you watched him as a captain. What do you think Marcus's best quality was? I think Marcus was, uh, he, was, a, he, was a, he was definitely a leader by example. He, he went out on the ice and... Uh, let his actions do the talking and I think um, at the same time he was a good liaison between the coaching staff and management and the players and um, you know he said what he had to say when it was time but um, he was a great leader and he led by example. Trevor thanks for your time good to see you again. Thank you Scott. Before I ask about Marcus Naslin I want to uh, get your take on the standing ovation that you got from the fans here in the first period. How did it feel? I felt great it's great to be back here like you said I had 12 fantastic years here it's a great place to play hockey and I'm I'm happy in Tampa, but it's been fun to be back here for a day or two. I don't think Marcus Naslin would expect anything less than a big effort from the Lightning tonight, and you as you try to uh, put a damper on the celebration and Lightning giving that effort through two periods. So having said that now, uh, give me your your best Marcus Naslin story. Oh, wow. There are so many stories, but I mean, he's the most competitive player I've ever played with, and, and uh, obviously he had a lot of good year, years here, but for me, it's, it's Marcus the person, and, and he has tremendous family. I'm, I'm extremely blessed to, to call him my friend. That's a common theme tonight. Thanks for your time, Matthias. Thank you, Scott.